Hey guys, welcome back to Code Dork. Today we are going to solve a really exciting problem, which was asked in the coding interview of Amazon and Google. Okay, so let's jump in. The title says Water Jugs Problem, and the description is: Suppose we are given n red and n blue water jugs. Okay, the same number of red and blue water jugs, all of different shapes and size. All red jugs hold different amount of water, and so does the blue one. Okay, all the jugs in both the colors have different quantities. Okay, moreover, there is a blue jug for every red jug that holds the same amount of water, and vice versa. The task is to efficiently group the jugs into pairs of red and blue jugs that holds the same amount of water. Now I am guessing that you guys have not understood the statement, as they are not mentioned in any examples. But don't worry, I am here for that. Let's check the example. So, in simple words, to describe the problem statement, they are saying that you will be provided with two arrays, okay, and you have to sort them. All right, you have to sort those arrays efficiently and not separately, okay, like. Then you guys might say, "Okay, I will sort this first and this first." No, we don't have to do like that. We have to sort them simultaneously. Okay, that's the main problem. Okay, that's the main motive. Okay, so as you can see, this this is the red one, and this is the blue one. And as they mentioned, for every red, there is a blue. For every red, there is a blue. What we have to do is, we just have to pair them and show them in the output. But how do we do that? Okay, first of all, you guys might think, okay, it's simple. Uh, as we have only two arrays, we can do it in big of n square complexity. Yes, that's right. But in interviews like Amazon and Google, you need to provide an efficient solution, an efficient algorithm. So I am going to teach you that. So the efficient approach for this problem would be applying the quick sort algorithm simultaneously. Now you guys might know quick sort. How this quick sort works? It you know it has a pivot element. Suppose six, then it will arrange the six. It will find the position of the six in this array. So the position of six comes here in the between, and all the elements less than six will appear here, and all the elements greater than six will appear appear here. Okay, and then it will again perform quick sort on this part and later this part. So this is how quick sort works. Now we also have to do the same algorithm over here. What we will do is, okay, <clears throat> as we know the size, what the size is one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so the value of n is four. In Java, there is a function called as random, and using that function, we will choose any random index between the low, in this case, which is zero, and the high. Okay. Let's suppose it selects the index number three, which is eight, the element eight. And now, what we will do is, as we know, this element eight will be present here, and even it will be present over here. So now we will have a function which is called a swap, which will partition a partition function and a swap function, which is applied in the standard quick sort algorithm. Okay, and by using that function. We will sort this array for this particular pivot, for this particular pivot simultaneously. What does simultaneously means? That okay, I will explain to you guys simultaneously. We are not using any parallel algorithms or any such kind of high logic. Okay, so in the first pass, what will happen is, let's say my pivot is eight. Okay, so what will the array do is? Let's see. This is my red one. And my blue one. Let's suppose okay, I'm not sure how this thing thing will work, but let's suppose that this in this fashion 
I get my red array and my blue array. How? Because the element 8 is the pivot over here and all the elements less than 8 are present. Now it will recur for this array again and let's suppose it chooses the element 3 as its pivot this time. So for 3 what we will do? It will find the position of 3. For the red array the position of 3 is over here. Position of the 8 is fixed. So obviously 2 will come over here because it is the only element less than 3 and 7 and 6 will appear over here. For here also 3 here, 8 here, 2 will come over here and 6 and 7 will appear over here. Okay, so this is fixed, this is fixed, this, this is fixed. It will come over here, it will check only one element. So obviously if it is in the right position, it will leave it over there. So this is how our algorithm will work. I have just shown you a rough example of how it will work okay not the exact calculations and the exact swappings i have done so i hope you guys have understood how we are going to approach this uh, problem and if you see the time complexity for the quick sort is n log n and as we are also applying quick sort so we can solve this problem in n log n time complexity Alright guys, so let's check the code for this and it's done. It's just simple. So I have the code over here. The red array and the blue array. And here I'm calling the function find matching pairs. So what does find matching pairs have? So as I said, the low and the high as I mentioned over here, the low here over here the low and over here the high if the condition is violated then it will just terminate the recursion otherwise as i mentioned a random function this will choose a random function between the low and high only okay and the chosen jug i can even write a blue okay i can uh, choose it from any of the sub uh, arrays either from the blue one or from the red one because all the uh, both the arrays contains the same elements okay in just a shuffle manner now over here i have just printed out the chosen elements so uh, you guys can understand now why i am written here the pivot only for here and not for here because in both the cases it will return the same pivot element i will show you guys if you guys uh, want to check it out but first let me just explain the code and for the rest it is low and pivot minus one low and pivot minus one means as i said for this array low and pivot minus one and then comes pivot plus one and high means for the latter array okay and this will go on and this will go on now we are going to call to the par partition function so here is our partition function what the partition function is doing the partition function is just arranging the elements as i said the elements lower than the pivot should come to its left and the elements higher than the pivot should go towards its right okay so that's the thing now let's run our code and i'll show you the example so as you can see the we have given unsorted array and our output is an sorted array and these are 8 3 and 6 our chosen elements okay 8 3 and 6 are our chosen elements okay if you want you can dry run this code okay and check it out for 8 3 and 6 the how this code is working if you guys are preparing for the fan companies such as amazon i have created a own playlist which have the problems the latest coding questions which will appear on your top right corner right now just click on it and watch all the videos i hope this will be beneficial for you if yes please mention in the comment and if you guys like the content if it is helpful for you guys please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it takes effort in finding out the latest interview questions and bringing it to you guys thank you and stay safe